from copyright in your pocket. Um, in this video today, I'm going to show you step by step how to use the Claude project feature to um, train it in your brand, your voice, your ideal clients, your offers, and then get it to write um, sales focused copy for you. Now, this is the paid feature of Claude, um, but I think it is much more intuitive and easy to use than the paid equivalent in ChatGPT. And in this video, I'm going to show you step by step exactly how I got Claude to help me come up with an idea for a workshop for a live paid workshop and then write all the associated copy to go with it. OK, so I'm just going to flip my screen and take you through it. All right, so here we are, we're inside Claude and I've created this project that I've called Build a Bot. So the way it works is on the right hand side, we've got our project knowledge base. And this is where you train Claude on what it is that you want it to do. So that when you're doing the chat here on the left, then it's going to reference what is in this project knowledge base. So once you've got the paid feature, you can create as many of these as you want. Uh, you can organize them however you want. Um, I've got one that's actually much more comprehensive that I use all the time. But for the for this exercise, I started from scratch and just um, kept it really focused and simple on what it is that I wanted to create, which in this case was a uh, live workshop. So one of the first things that you need to make sure you upload is some examples of your brand voice. So you can just copy and paste this from wherever um, whatever samples you've got. I've got a Google document that I just take and I put in. Um, up here is where you want to do any custom instructions. So this is where I tell it what language to use, some words to avoid, and um, the tone and voice. And I've found that Claude is really good at paying attention to this. Um, so if you just upload it with all those words that you feel are a giveaway that it's been written by AI, um, here in the custom instructions is where you can then fix that. So the, the way I make this work, so I have um, a program uh, called Copywriter in Your Pocket. And it, in essence, it is a selection of copywriting frameworks that cover the range from website copy, sales pages, social media content, email sequences. Um, it's all organized here in a database. And there's also a um, sort of video course to go along with it. And if you ever want to join, there'll be a link somewhere around this video that you can do that. <clears throat> However, even without using my frameworks, you can still make this work. You might be able to find a sales page on the internet that you wanted to follow, or you know, if you've got your own frameworks that you're using, or if you've collected templates over the years, you could load them up in here in the same way. But what I've created is just a very simple step-by-step um, -step system that makes it super easy to do. So in this case, what I wanted to do was to create um, a sales page for a live workshop. So what I do uh, for all of the content pieces uh, inside Copywriter in your pocket, I create um, a simple workflow, which is essentially a Google document that we just follow step by step that has everything that you need. Okay, so I basically I've just um, followed these instructions myself. So I downloaded a copy of this um, headline templates document and I downloaded the framework for the sales page for my live workshop. And as you can see, I've put them both in here. So we've got the headline template and for the uh, and for the light and the framework for the live workshop. And all you need to do is if you click on this. I just do control C to copy it all. And then I've just added it here into the knowledge base, add it as text content, paste it, and then just copy the title of it here. Just so when we're referring to it in our prompts, then Claude knows what document you're talking about in the knowledge base. Um, you can upload also, as you can see, PDFs, Word document, so whatever format you've got your, you know, if you've got frameworks and stuff in, um, it will allow you to upload, upload PDFs and Word documents and stuff. Okay, so following my workflow, I uploaded the headline templates because that's going to help with writing headlines. I've um, done the framework here for the workshop sales page. And then we need to give it some information about what the workshop is going to be about. So all of my workflows have just a simple, um, again, good copy of this, and then just fill out um, the details. Okay, so I'll fill this one out before. So I've given it a name. Um, I've just brainstormed in here. I was trying to work out what I wanted to do in the workshop. So I've just sort of filled this out, just some bullet points, really high level of what it is that I'm trying to um, teach. Um, here's the date and time, and are you including a bonus for showing up live? No. 
And so that once that was filled out, I just copy that, paste it into the knowledge base over here. Um, and this is it there. So you can see I just pasted it in and I've given it a title. And now I want Claude to help me work out who's a good fit for this particular offer. So I've just got a really simple prompt that I put in um, and it's just this. So based on the offer, who are, who's a good fit for it? And as you can, I'll show you here, this is what I did. I put the prompt in. So now on the left, I'm starting to use the prompts to get Claude to help me um, with my ideas, with who it's for. Um, and because we've information into the knowledge base, the prompt is now referencing what we've uploaded. So this is the, this is what Claude does in a really good intuitive way that um, chat GPT doesn't. So you might upload all this kind of stuff to a custom GPT, but it's not as easy for you to just look at it and see what you've got and then make those references um, front and center. So it's given me this um, idea of who's a good fit. So I had a read through that and I was happy with it. And so then I just copied that and I've added it here into my knowledge base. So I'm now building up this knowledge base with this information about who's a good fit for the workshop. And then the next step was to write the registration page. I just realize I've opened up the wrong one. So what we want is the Claude Pro. So inside Copyright in Your Pocket, I do give you workflows if you want to use um, the free version of Claude or, or ChatGPT. So it will work um, on those platforms as well. Uh, but just it's much easier with Claude Pro. So let me just get down to the prompt. Just The main difference is the prompt because we can put it all into um, into the knowledge base so the prompts become a lot easier. So this is the prompt. And if you find that Claude is ignoring the words and phrases that you want it to um, avoid, you can always add this to your prompt just to make sure that, just to remind it, and that generally works. And also if you find it's going off brand, remind it to use your brand voice. So you can add these in every time just to you know have it as part of your prompt, but if they're not always necessary. So I did that over here now. So I've started a new chat and I put the prompt in. It's up here. So I fill out my frame, um, use the information that I've given you. I want some different headline, subheadline examples and then referenced the template document that I've given it. So it's got lots to choose from when writing those headlines. Make sure that you're talking to the right custom avatars and write using my brand voice. And so it's now written. So following the framework, it's uh, given me a headline and subheadline, details of the workshop, some pain points, what they're going to get out of it, and the bonus that I wanted to include, which is like a self-study course and a call to action. And then as you can see, it's also given me some other headlines and subheadlines that I can play around with. So when it comes time to take this from here and then build out my sales page, I've got lots of ideas to play around with. Um, to mix and match and to see what sort of works the best. If I was running ads, these are headlines that I could split test as well. And then it said, would you like me to fully flesh out all the versions with complete pain points and benefits? And I said, yes. So now it's written five versions of this. So again, I've just got loads of ideas here that I can pull in when I'm actually taking this and putting it onto a sales page. Now this bonus here, the BuilderBot self-study course, um, at the moment doesn't have an existing sales page. So if it did, I would upload a copy of the sales page back out here to the knowledge base. And then I would ask it to do like a little blurb to put on my registration page, just to kind of flesh out a bit more um, about what that bonus is. Um, I haven't got that yet. So what I've done instead, um, it's based on a previous workshop that I did. So let's just have a look um, and that I'm going to be cutting up and turning into a, at the moment. All I have really is a transcription of a workshop. So that's what I've given Claude. So I've said, here's the transcript of the course. Can you write me a sales focused section of the registration page to make clearer what's included in the course? So I want to show you this because this is still a chatbot. You can go back and forth with it, asking it to do um, all sorts of tasks for you. You don't have to strictly follow the workflows. Um, but just what are in here really help with the sales copy. Um, but, you know, I just want to show you that you can get it to do all sorts of stuff because that knowledge base is where it's really, really trained in what it is specifically that it's helping you to build. So I just pasted in the transcript. And then what it has done is written a, based on that transcript, it's written sort of like 
modules, if you like, of what the course might be. It's done it very simply because it's it's um, matching my brand voice and how I want things. And so when I read this, I was like, okay, it's okay, but it's a little bit maybe too simple. So I've then I start asking it to rewrite. So don't refer to the particular tool um, and make the bullets the bullets more sales focused. Rewrite them as fascinated bullets. So fascinated bullets are like a copywriting term that um, is just like a way of writing uh, bullets that sort of um, a bit more salesy that evoke curiosity um, and uh, you know a bit more creative than just like here is what the thing is okay so here you can see the simple five-step workflow I use to build AI tools in under an hour as opposed to the exact workflow I use to build custom AI tools um, so it's done that with all of them it's made this much more um, salesy if you like it's it's much more sort of copywriting focused and then when i went through it and i was like actually when there's a few pieces of this that isn't going to go into the course so i've just said right take these bits out um and then you know it, that's ready to go so here in this chat i've got my registration page i've got all the elements i need that took you know seconds obviously for it to write and um i've got something really solid as a first draft that I'm going to then turn into my registration page and it's really not going to take me very long at all to do it. So I'm happy with that. That's now built. So my next step um, was to uh, I want to write some um, emails and, and content to, to promote the workshop. And so back inside Copywriter in your pocket, um, I've got some email sequences already set up. And in this one, this is the webinar sequence. Um, so if we right and then when we go into here so this is an entire sequence i think of i think six sales emails and then four registration emails basically as based on templates so these is this is like um you know before ai the way that i would help my clients to um you know follow a template follow a framework to write these emails the good news now is you don't have to write them for that first draft you can get uh, to do that first draft for you and then you just need to tidy it up so all we need to do here again is just copy the entire google document paste it into the knowledge base here is the webinar sequence and so i've got that's all entire template is in there so again if you've got something like this already that you want to use you could um, upload it to the knowledge base and and work with it that way and uh, with the email sequence that like we're looking through it it does uh, one of them is about sharing results and testimonials so to make sure i've got testimonials in here that i can pull i've uploaded some testimonials from previous workshops and i've added that to the knowledge base as well and so now at the bottom of the framework i've got the prompt which is here prompt for claude pro so i took that this so this is the prompt it's really short so if you're used to like writing big long complicated prompts in chat gpt um because we're putting everything in the knowledge base the prompts themselves become really quite short and simple so now i'm saying i want you to write a series of email using these email structures use the information given you um about you know that that first kind of the, the document the first input document with with the details plus use the information from the registration page that you wrote so it's got all this information in here and i'm telling you i want you to reference that when you're writing these emails for me use my brand voice and the sign off is always cheers kathy okay and so it's done email one um, it's taken one of my testimonials it's followed the framework and it's written that email then email two sharing a story now this is interesting because I didn't actually upload any specific information about like a story. I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm going to see what it comes up with. And if it's way off the mark, at least it's given me some ideas and I can refine it. But actually this is true. <laughs> so um, before I found the, the tools that I, the tool I've been using to help people build bots, which is different to what we're doing here. Um, I was trying other tools that were complicated. So, um, this is a good story. You know, I can, again, this is first draft, so I will flesh this out a bit more with my own sort of insights and stuff, but it's given me this first draft of, um, you know, what I tried, why I created this workshop. And again, it's going into who it's for and what they're going to get and so on. So we've got email three, which is outcomes focused, email four, pain point focused, email five, some FAQs, uh, email six is the last chance. So this is a six 
part email sequence that I can load up to my email service provider. Um, I will also take these posts and just um, put them on social media as well. So I always, anything that goes on social media goes in email and vice versa generally, like, you know, 80, 90% of the time. Okay, so they're all written, that didn't take very long. And then these uh, registration emails are the ones that I'm gonna load up once people have signed up to the masterclass. So a little reminder, here's the link, here's the date and time. Um, so I've set this up so you, they get the confirmation. They do one that's 24 hours and one that's one hour before. You don't, a few hours before, so you don't have to upload all of them. But if you've got a big list or if this is how you like to do things, the option is there. And then there's a post um, webinar email um, to let them know that I'm going to be sharing an offer, which I will do. So um, all these written in next to no time, I think, all, you know, all up to hold. It's taken me longer to explain it than to actually do it to be honest. So yeah, so hopefully that's helped inspire you to understand a bit more about how Claude works, um, understanding the knowledge base. This is how you train it. This is how you teach it. You can keep gives, you know, I've used 6%. So you can, there's still loads and loads of scope to add more stuff here. And then the chats on the left are where you put in your prompts, get it to write content for you. And it all becomes very easy. And if something's not quite right, you can see be like, okay, maybe I've, you know, I haven't given it the right sort of testimonial or, um, you know, if something fills off over here, then you can see in your knowledge base where it got it from and what it is that you might need to refine. Okay, I hope that was helpful. And um, yeah, if you need anything, Copywriter in Your Pocket is my website or Kathy Topping on Facebook.